in the mind of Mitiana Municipality MP Francis Zake. Memories from the 19th April 2020 are still fresh. Zake, who is fighting for his life at Lubaga Hospital, claims he was tortured by security operatives after he was arrested on this day. The legislator, who was speaking to the media for the first time, says he was later transferred to a place he got to know from fellow inmates as one of the chieftains of military intelligence officers. Here he claims he was blindfolded and then clobbered countless times until his body stopped feeling any pain. They stopped on my head with their boots. Beating started from their compound. They put, they dragged me down stairs. The echoes I had made me feel that now this is a very huge building. They began caning me so much while on being handcuffed. Sincerely, I cannot count the number of strokes they gave to me, but it was adding more pain to the extent that I was not even now not feeling anything since my hands were already numb and still handcuffed. I could not feel my limbs, the, 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 the legs. There is something I felt like a stick, ha like having things which were so, which were piercing on my chest and it felt like as if it was barbed wires. He alleges that his tormentors questioned his alliance with the Chadondo East MP Robert Chagulanyi. Zake says he was later transferred to the Police Special Investigations Unit facility in Chiraka and finally they ran Uganda Hospital. I remember that night is the first time my wife was allowed to see me but as entering the room where they had put me and also my personal doctor was there. They checked me, they examined me and everything. I told them where I feel most of the pain. The police spokesperson, Fred Nanga, says they've recorded a statement from the bedridden legislator to get them on the torture claims. If the finding supports acts of torture, the officers who are found culpable will definitely get suspended and will get charged to court. But that will depend on the findings as we get to move forward. However, human rights lawyer Nicholas Opio is skeptical about police premises to punish those who are alleged to have tortured Zake. If they can, I'll be surprised. I think the jury is out. Nobody believes that the CID, the police, can reasonably, in good faith, investigate and hold its own officers to account for crimes such as crimes of torture. This is not the first time Honorable Zake is accusing security operatives of torturing him. The last time this happened was on the 15th August 2018 during the Lua municipality by election and he ended up being transferred abroad for further treatment. John Cliff Wamala, AIN TV. Okay, so we're going to